Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about how I trained a what I'm calling a hind end stretch or in other words a parking out stretch. This is the first part of a series of stretches that I teach but I begin here um, and what we're going to do is ask the horse to start taking steps forward with its front end there and then it will stretch out that whole back end and this is a great stretch for that lower back and the opening up the hips and the stifles and the hocks and the whole lower end of the horse as well as teaching the horse balance and teaching and it also has the same mental benefits of teaching any behavior new behavior so what I'm doing is my cue is just to be putting the whip gently behind the back of the front legs and sometimes I lightly tap but I'm not increasing pressure all I'm doing is setting it there and asking the horse to take a step forward by applying just a little bit of forward movement with my hand on the halter or the lead rope asking them as if I was trying to get them to square up to take a step forward in the beginning, Pumpkin does a lot of pawing or she picks up her foot and doesn't necessarily move it forward, but that's okay. I'm rewarding any movement and then I'm going to start fine tuning it into more of a stepping forward. You can see how I'm having my hand out trying to get her to take a step forward and there she does and I click and reward. If the horse moves with her back end, don't worry about it too much. I have the pole set on the ground as a visual of where I want the horse to stay. You'll notice that Tiger in particular moves her back end more that often than T Pumpkin did. And that's okay, I just don't want them to step over the pole. If they do, um, in the beginning I just circle them around and go back. And then later on you'll notice I ask them actually to take that back foot backwards. I ask them to step it backwards once they understand a little better. But I use the pole as a visual for both me and the horse to make sure that they understand where we're working. And the next time I pull the pole out, it'll help them know exactly what we're gonna be practicing. So I'm asking Tiger just to take one step forward. Um, it doesn't matter with which leg. And when she does, I click and reward. She did move her back legs, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it as long as they don't cross over the pole. Eventually we will tune out the use of the back legs, but it does take a little bit of time. There you saw all I had to do was actually just place my whip just gently across the back of her legs and she took a step forward. Alright, so here we're at practice two. We'll go back to pumpkin. And we're working on the same thing again. She paws a little bit, but there, she puts just a tad bit forward. I didn't reward that because I'm trying to phase out the pawing, and I just want the step forward. And she did it with her other leg, which is beautiful, so I click and reward. I'm using my right hand just to gently kind of guide her head forward. And there, she took a beautiful step forward. I clicked and rewarded. So you'll notice here I just gently have my whip right behind the front legs, up high above the knees, in between the elbow and the knee. And that's my choice of cue for this behavior because rarely you'll find that you place your whip there, so it's a very distinct location and it's going to be exclusively for this behavior. So there she right off the bat went and took a step forward. I had circled her around and came back again and squared her up to the camera. It's important to take breaks. After a few attempts, walk off, come back a little bit later and take a break for a few minutes and let the horse rest. It's mind and it's body. Because remember some horses are going to be stiffer than others and are going to take longer. Pumpkin grasped the concept a lot faster than Tiger did, but she's stiffer in her body. And so once she started getting it, it took longer for her to start the full stretch than it did for Tiger who once she figured it out mentally was able to do deep stretches no problem. If you find your horse isn't taking a step forward with the cue and with a guide of the hand um, you might try some other tactics. In a minute here you'll watch me actually use luring to 
I guide the horse forward and that's really effective. I waited to use it to a little bit later on, but I could have used it in the beginning as well. Or targeting is a great way to get the horse to take a step forward. Just make sure that you're not encouraging the back feet as well. Just think baby, baby, baby steps, even a shift in weight if that's all you've got to start with and that's perfect. Any type of movement forward is perfect. Pumpkin is really starting to get it here in this video. She took three steps forward that time, even though they were little tiny shifts, but that was pretty good for her. Like I said, she's stiff in her back end. And here you notice she's more of moving her front end out in front of her rather than stretching her back end, but we fixed that in a little bit. Tiger is still struggling not to move her back end, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I just let her shift her back legs around. She's never crossing the pole, but I think it's more of a mental thing where she feels like she needs to move them in, pair in pairs, um, but she figures it out here in a little bit. There she shifted her leg just a little tiny bit, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. So make sure and reward front end movement and that they don't cross the pole. When your horse offers a really great movement above and beyond what it's been doing or just even even if it's just a little bit more and you, but you feel like it was a really great effort, um, you can do what's called a jackpot reward which is to offer more than a single reward. You offer a few back-to-back -back little tiny rewards and that can make a really big impact on the horse. So there Pumpkin moved her back leg forward all over the pole. And now that I know she understands we're asking for front leg movement only, I actually asked her to take her back leg backwards by tapping on it just a little bit, asking her to step it back. So here we're starting to use a little bit of a shifting forward. You notice there she shifts just a little bit over her front end, stretching it out a little bit, and her head is forward and down, and that was really pretty. With Tiger here in a minute, I introduced the luring forward, asking her to stretch over her front end and really open up that back end. Girl, the tiger is trying so hard not to move those back legs over the bolt. So here I'm actually using my body language to help encourage her to lean forward. That's really important to use your body language, using your hand or a target to ask them to pull forward just a little bit, which I do here in a second there. You'll see me actually bring her head forward for the treat, stretching and opening up that back and that back hind end. She does a really great job and I offer a jackpot and I just re take little tiny treats and reward often. There she does step over, but it was because she couldn't hold it anymore, and so I didn't worry about it, and we walked off and we ended that session there that day. So here we're at the practice number five, where I feel like Pumpkin really started to open up a little bit more. She doesn't open up nearly as much as Tiger, but like I said, she's stiff. And that's okay. It's just going to take some more practice to get her muscles to do what her mind can do now. But she really starts to lean forward, opening up that back end. So like I mentioned before, it's important to use your body language. Um, lean, you notice I'm leaning my body forward. I know it doesn't look pretty, but it really encourages the horse to lean forward as well. Start getting the idea of what you want. There I stepped Tiger back because she went over the pole. That's okay. She knows, and we go ahead and practice it in there. She stepped forward on her own. I didn't even have to ask her. She did a beautiful job. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be doing more videos like this with different stretches, um, but check out the website for more information.